The State Department of Human Services takes dramatic action after a Call 7 investigation. The Human Services Board today banned the use of face down or prone restraint in all state run, licensed adult and youth facilities in Colorado. That move comes after our Call 7 investigation of the death of Troy Geske. Geske suffocated in an isolated room at the Pueblo State Hospital after being tied down by staff members. All those in favor, aye. It was an emotional moment for the family of Troy Geske as the Human Services Board voted unanimously to ban face down restraint on patients in all facilities licensed by CDHS. A Call 7 investigation exposed the brutal and tragic death of Geske at the hands of poorly trained Pueblo hospital staff who tied him down in an isolated room and left as he suffocated. When we started this process, I didn't want Troy to have died in vain. His life made a difference. His death made a difference. Troy Geske's parents believe the new law will save lives, but it's a bittersweet day. It's too bad our son had to go through this to get it as far as we've gotten it. They also had an emotional private moment with CDHS Director Reggie Bika, who they credit for aggressively pursuing the ban. Bika accepted his present position after the death of their son. Use of prone restraint clearly is evidence to um, not only harm people, re-traumatize them through this physical aggressive intervention, but in the worst case scenarios, it takes people's lives. With the action that the board took today, we've ended that in the state of Colorado. Bika says the legacy of Troy Geske's death and his parents' efforts to ban prone restraint will have an impact on the lives of all such patients in the state. And I thank them for fulfilling Troy's spirit. This rules here in large part because uh, they were active and engaged. Well, the family is grateful for the statewide ban on prone restraint. The legal case in the death of Troy Geske is just beginning. As a result of our investigation, a Pueblo County grand jury found the hospital staff and management responsible for the death. The family is expected to file a wrongful death suit in district court next week. Now, if you've got a tip for Teresa or me or anyone at Call 7 Team, we want to hear from you. 303-832-7777 or email us at call7 at thedenverchannel.com.